Hey guys, what's up? I'm just shooting a quick video today to show you what the new Fubo TV beta version looks like. I've been testing it out on my Amazon Fire TV. Right now I have the Fire TV uh, hooked up wirelessly. Usually I like to have it uh, set up with an uh, Ethernet connection, but for the purposes of this video I had to go wireless. So uh, let's jump right in. Fubo TV has been around since January 2015. And it started out as a sports-first platform. Now they're breaking into more of a mainstream type of uh, platform to compete with Sling TV, PlayStation View, DirecTV Now. So they're starting to offer some other channels like A&E, Bravo, History Channel. Uh, you can see here they also have Sci-Fi and uh, a couple news channels and, and Viceland channel I like a lot. If you're a soccer fan, then this platform is really a no-brainer. Um, you can check out uh, a number of channels that has games from around the world. As you can see, uh, the picture crystal clear. Uh, it runs 1080p, around 50 to 60 uh, frame rates per second. Um, so it's, it's really crisp. I've noticed while testing this out that sometimes you'll uh, get a little bit of pixelation when you first get on a channel but most times it usually straightens itself out. So the entry level package being offered in the US is 46 channels for $34.99 a month. There's currently no ESPN, but a company representative recently told me that they're working on expanding their channel lineup. I definitely like the Amazon Fire TV user interface over Roku. And before I forget, there's two different ways you can uh, look through the channels to see what's on. You can be on this channels menu, and just simply go to the channel and uh, and click on what you want to see. You can also go up to Schedule. Schedule will lay out uh, basically a 12-hour grid of what's going to be on. And uh, it's pretty easy to go through. As you can see, it cuts off at 2 a.m. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to expand once uh, the beta tests are complete. But um, it's, it's pretty easy to go through and uh, pretty handy as well. You can also go to the Fubo TV website to check out a lineup of all the you know, NBA basketball and soccer games that uh, are going to be on uh, within a two-day period. Just to give you a, a quick comparison, I've been using PlayStation View for months. It's been my choice of uh, a live TV streaming service. And i got to say, uh, the picture quality is very comparable. Fubo TV also allows you to pause, rewind, and fast forward your content. There's a cloud DVR service similar to PlayStation View. A lot of people are talking about Direct TV now these days, but I really think Fubo TV is going to be the dark horse to watch in 2017. They already have 1080p resolution, a cloud DVR service, and just an overall good package with a $34.99 price point. I'll be interested to see what they expand with in the next few months. Anyways, if you want to try it out, it's a, there's a seven-day free trial that Fubo TV offers uh, with no obligation. Similar to Sling and PlayStation View, there's no contracts, so it's pretty easy to get online and cancel if you don't like it. If you have any other questions or comments about the new Fubo TV, drop me a line uh, in the comments below, and check out the cordcuttingreport.com for our full review. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if you liked this video or if it was helpful to you. And uh, thanks a lot for checking this out. See you next time.